smack a bitch. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another episode of Say My Name, Say My Name. That's right. You hear that? Destiny's Child is playing in the background. Now, passengers out there, please don't come up to and jump to, down a driver's throat and be like, say my name, say my name. No, because that's not how these things work. Drivers want to make sure they verify they have the correct passengers. The best way to do this is keep your damn doors locked. Roll your window down just a little bit so that way they can hear you. And you say, can you tell me what your driver's name is? Because if you go ahead and say what their name is, they can just easily say, yeah, sure, that's for me. Get in the car. Say, oh, no, my phone's messing up. Can you change the destination to X, Y, and Z? And then, bam, they'll be able to get a free ride. And nobody likes that at all, okay? Because drivers get scammed out of getting paid. Now, if a passenger does want to sit there and give you crap, you know what? odds are you don't even want to take that ride because if it's going that badly beforehand it's probably really going to go even you know further downhill as you try to do the ride so if they want to sit there and be like say my name say my name what like i guess your name is kick rocks because that's what you're doing you ain't getting up in this car so take a look at this we'll talk a little after hey man Yep, yeah, that's what I'm in. Who you picking up? Uh, uh, my name is Gareth. You tell me your name. Who are you picking up, man? My name he say is Gareth. Gareth. I don't care. Who are you picking up? Look, that's not the way the name game works, sir. Put your mask on, first off, if you're in my car. You have a lot of information about me. I only have your name. Excuse you. Just who the tell fuck him are you, who picking, you picking, up? picking up? One word. I will ask name you one word. Okay, I'm going to cancel your ride. I'm not picking up anybody. Please get out of my car. I'm not going to talk to you. You do know that's how it works, right? No, it's I ask you. I ask you who to pick up. Okay. You do know how it works, right? I know how it works. I've done this for many years right, now. So I ask so you. Am I. I, I don't I, know I, who I, you look, are. Look, look, my I'm name is Gareth. Look at your fucking app. Get out. We're done. I'm not I'm not well, I'm not bringing you anywhere. Like so who do you think you're picking up? How is that who secure for me? Are who are you? I got to make sure I got the right rider. Okay, so Who are you? Get out of my car. Please get out of my car. I'm going to call the cops in here. Go for it. Get out of my car while you do it. Get out of my car. So I'll fuck you up. No, it's a... All right, let's see who's going to call. Call the cops. I want you to call the cops. Let's right get now. out of my car. Call the cops. Here, we just asked He's you. not verifying the name. I don't know if you're my rider or not. I told you I was Matthew, and I asked you to verify you did not who the fuck you picked me up. You didn't say Matthew we until just, just now. Matthew. How many times? This is the first if, time you Uber's said Matthew. Pick somebody up and fuck them up. You, you and I, I, and it's my fucking goddamn problem, son. Here's my thing. Like I, I'm a Lyft it's driver. It's my goddamn problem. I'm a Lyft driver, and so here's what I do. I, I don't and care. And I ride for fucking Uber, you asshole. I don't care. Well, you apparently don't care. We well, are. Well, I'm gonna turn you in. Let's, Let's see how this long ride you is ride over. for fucking Uber or Lyft anymore. This ride's over. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> yeah, you're. Garth? Yo, no, I already know. I already know your ride's over. Your ride's fucking way over. Oh, please. 911 location of your emergency. Uh, I'm at the uh, roadside tavern. Uh, the, I got two riders that won't get out of my vehicle. He's being belligerent. Okay. What's yes. the address? Um, roadside cafe, US 32. Okay, hold on just a moment. Let me Google the address for that because it's not a common place in our system. <laughs> Goodbye, Chris. I will be reporting you. Good for you. All right, he just threw something in my car. Okay, I'm sorry, what? They got out of the car and he threw something at my car. I, I had to get out of there. He was going to do something. They, they got out. But he just threw something at the back of my car. I think it was his phone. What a jerk. Okay. Just, just make sure that you stay safe from them. If you can lock your car doors to keep them out. Well, I pulled away from the the bar. There's they wouldn't verify their name, so I had no idea if he was my correct rider or not. Okay. Um, 
Um, I can still send officers to meet with you if you want it. It's uh, up to you. No bother. No bother. They got out. That's all I really needed. But, uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, thank you for your help. Okay, you're welcome. All right, bye-bye. Ryder would not verify his name. I could not validate that it was my correct passenger. He got rude and unruly with me using foul language and I asked him to get out. I called 911. As I left, he threw his phone at the back of my car or threw something at the back of my car. Nine one one was called, but we hit, went ahead and canceled because I am out of there safely, and they are out of my car. You both drive, huh? You know it's the way it works, huh? Okay, yeah. My name is Gareth. What's your fucking name? in my goddamn car. You see that, guys? You see that? That's that BS that I'm talking about right there. Pastors want to act all entitled and be like, oh, that's not how this works. That's not how this works. Well, guess what? This is how it works, okay? And if they weren't trying to be so entitled and be such douchebags, they wouldn't care about trying to say the driver's name first, okay? Everybody just wants to make sure they have the correct passenger because we don't know anything. All we know is a fake name in the app or whatever they put in there. You know what I'm saying? Like pimp, pimp daddy, you know? I've seen it all. So you want to make sure they have the right passenger. And it is so simple if the passengers would just say a driver's name first. Because, hey, they have all our information. They have the make, the model, the color. They have, they know everything. Okay, might as well just get a, a urine sample and a blood type just to complete the profile. But, guys, passengers especially, don't act like that, all right? If you want to ride, don't act like that. Otherwise, you're going to get left in the dust. All right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. Do your thing. Get your money. Don't take crap from anybody. And until next time, Uber on or don't. Peace out.